What's up guys, my name is Bart Komar, and today I'm gonna show you what I believe is the best nail removal tool on the market. All right guys, if you're anything like me, you have a bunch of pallet wood and just reclaimed lumber that have nails in it that need to be removed. Now I've been working with pallet wood and reclaimed lumber for over two years now, and I have scoured the internet for the best tool removal system that I can find. And out of all that, the pneumatic nail removal by Airlocker is pretty much the best thing that I have found out there. So today we're gonna be talking about the Airlocker, what it is, how to remove nails, and we'll actually go through the process of removing nails. Welcome to the Komar Project. <laughs> okay, so what is a pneumatic nail remover? Basically, it has a piston inside that when forced with compressed air, shoots out a little rod and actually pushes the nail through, allowing you to actually remove it from the other side or it just fires the whole thing out of your board. So let's give this thing a try, but first we gotta make something for the nails to go into because sometimes this thing will shoot it so hard that it'll fly across the room. Don't ask me how I know. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a bucket. On top of it, you can use any piece of wood. I have some MDF, you can use plywood or anything you have laying around. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a slit right in the top for those nails to actually go through and go inside of our bucket. What I like to do is just put a ruler down, trace it out, and we'll make it a little bit bigger actually. You can make it basically any size you want as long as a nail can fit right through it. We're gonna be cutting this out with a jigsaw, but first I need to make a couple holes so I can actually stick the jigsaw blade in. Next I'm just gonna run the jigsaw between these holes. You don't have to be super precise with this thing, it's just for a nail to drop in. Then you can just place that piece of wood or MDF, whatever it is that you're using on top of the bucket, and it's gonna protect you from those nails actually popping up. And the wood will go right on top of it. So let's go see what kind of nails we're working with. So we have everything from a framing nail, a galvanized framing nail, to a regular three inch framing nail that you would use in your pneumatic guns and framing guns, trim nails, and even some roofing nails. All right, to start off, we have a piece of oak trim. I took this off of a door and it's got some finished nails. This is probably a 16 gauge nail in here. I'm not exactly sure, but you have one that's bent and one that's fairly straight. Next, we have your typical two by six. This is gonna be the same thing as a two by four. And I pounded in a couple of framing nails, your regular three inch framing nail. This is gonna be a 10 gauge nail. So I'm really interested to see how that works. And then your regular old finishing nails. Next, we have a three quarter inch pallet wood that I removed from a pallet. And we drove in a couple of framing nails and a galvanized nail, so we'll see how that goes. And then we have a inch and a quarter oak. So this is a very hard wood. And I drove in a couple of framing nails. You can see that this one actually bent, so it's, it's, it's fairly hard. So we'll see how that works on there. Then a two inch piece of just regular old reclaimed pine and I haven't driven any nails in it, but we will. And we have a half inch pallet wood board that we're gonna try because most of the time those boards are gonna be the ones that you're disassembling. So the first thing you wanna do is actually just connect it to your compressor and it connects just like any other pneumatic gun. Now I have my compressor set at 100 PSI and that will work for most of them. For some of the bigger ones, we might have to kick it up a notch. First, we're gonna take our bucket, we're gonna put it on the floor or on your workbench. Then you can place your board with the hole over it and we're gonna shoot the nails right inside. Oh, don't forget your safety glasses. That's key, because sometimes, who knows, it may shoot out there and if you're shooting it into like a trash can barrel or something like that, you definitely wanna have these. So first, we're gonna start out with that piece of trim that I have laying around. Full nail, it does have a little bit of a bend to it, but this thing will go right over it. Just place it over your hole. And squeeze the trigger. Then you can take some pliers or a remover like I have here. This is a Dewalt one and it works really, really well. So there's that nail. It came out bent like a two by four from Home Depot, but it works, right?
Same thing with the framing nail. So the half inch board is absolutely no problem for it. Next we have the three quarter inch pallet wood. So let's try the regular framers. And right in, three quarter, no problem. And I believe this is pine, so it's fairly soft wood. And it comes right out. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, hey Bart, most of those nails are gonna be bent. They're not gonna be straight like yours. Well, don't trip chocolate chip, I got you. So if you have nails that are bent like this, they're all screwed up, what you wanna do is actually put it at the side, straighten it with the air locker, and then push it down. Now let's say you have a bent nail like this. You've been hammering on it and it's bent this way and bent that way, and you need to get it out. Obviously, if you hit it this way, it may spin. So that is not a problem. We're gonna take our air locker, you put it in at an angle, twist it up, and fire. And it came right out. So this is a two by six, your very standard Home Depot two by six. Obviously it works on a two by four. And if you're framing a house or you're remodeling something, you need to move a wall, you're for whatever reason, you need to remove nails out of that two by four. This thing will work great on it. Now, my big question is, is it gonna do this 10 gauge fat framing nail? Next we have our inch and a half oak. This is a very dense wood, so let's see how well the air locker does on a framing nail in it. Then you can just remove with your pliers or a hammer. All right, and then we have our thick two inch pine and we're gonna drive a framing nail into it and see what happens. And it's only sticking out about three quarters of the way in. So let's see what the air locker does to this. And it drove it about half of the way out, which is great because then you can actually grab it and remove it. And it makes your job so much easier. Now you're probably saying to yourself, Bart, what if I cut it with a sawzall and there's no nails sticking up? Will it work? I don't know, let's find out. So there we go, we got it completely flat. I can run my finger through it and nothing happens. Let's see if the air locker will work on it. And it actually drove it out. So there you go, it'll actually get it started for you so then you can just take your pliers and remove it the rest of the way. At least you have something to grab onto. So there you go guys, this is the Pneumatic Nail Remover by Air Locker. Now this video is no way sponsored by Air Locker. I've never even talked to the people, but when I found this product, I absolutely fell in love with it because it saved me countless hours of removing nails with a nail punch and sawzall and hammers. If you guys are looking for something to remove nails and you want your time to go by quickly, get yourself an air locker. This thing retails right now for 58 bucks on Amazon. There's gonna be a link down below. Go ahead and pick yourselves up one of these because you will not regret it. So if you guys got any useful information out of this video and hopefully you guys like this thing, go ahead and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and lets me put out videos like this. Also, if you guys know of any other way of removing nails that is quicker than this or how you do it, let me know in the comments section below. I love hearing your guys' feedback and it just gets the conversation started about what people are using and what really works. For me, this works. Thank you so much for joining me on this experience. I will see you guys next time. It'll drive it in. <laughs> I actually nailed it to my bench. I will see you guys next time. Ah, bummer.